It's exciting. It's definitely scary. The first time I saw it, I was blown away. I was like, wow, technology has advanced so much. The simulation lab allows for me to bring the theory um, that we learned in the classroom or in didactic to the actual clinical setting. So it allows for them to piece it together and to not just look at the test book and say, oh, this is just a textbook. But then when we go into the lab, they see this is actually a real person they're dealing with, and then they're able to connect the dots. We put them in a simulation lab, and we can do things we can't do in the hospital, we can't do in a clinical setting. We can put a patient at risk. The simulator is a powerful learning tool. And it's a fantastic resource in that it can give the students hands-on experience in real time. The other thing that's helpful is as we teach concepts in different disease processes, you may not see that disease on a clinical area, but you could recreate it in the lab and give the student that particular experience. They're not always gonna have the opportunity to fully catheterize someone multiple times and then not have the risk of causing further complications. And it's also, it offers a great time for debriefing, so you can kind of critique and they can critique what things that they should have known, forgot, so that when they get out to the real world, hopefully it prepares them a little bit more and they say it does. For obstetrics, we actually do a delivery. So we place the uh, simulator close to delivering the infant and we have the students stand by and wait for the birth. I think it creates a, I've seen that, done that kind of attitude with the students. So when it happens in real life, the other day at the nursing home, two of my students had a patient expire. And when it's happened, they responded right away appropriately. Instead of screaming like I did the first time I did it as a student, they were ready for it. The simulation does a great job of bridging that gap of theory to clinical. And once they bridge the gap, they understand the concept so much better. So you do the concept in the classroom, you bring them to the lab and you recreate a scenario, then they really begin to understand what we're talking about. If you check out the uh, blogs of the different nurses, new nurses complain that they didn't get the opportunity to feel real life nursing. And at Jersey College, they get an opportunity to see what it would actually be like to perform as a nurse independently of their instructor.